Transient Ischemic Attack, or TIA. Now, transient ischemic attacks are essentially uh, very similar to strokes. The only difference, of course, the key difference is that their duration is less. So by definition, it's less than 24 hours, the TIA. But in most cases, the symptoms resolve within one hour, and many of them oftentimes resolve in less than five minutes. Now, what it actually is, is essentially a brief period of ischemia due to emboli or stenosis in the carotid artery. And this, of course, is referring to ischemia of the brain. Now, because the ischemia is so brief, infarction does not happen, or is at least very unlikely in a TIA. Now, what are some of the causes, etiology? Etiology of TIA is uh, broken up into two categories. There's modifiable and unmodifiable. The unmodifiable list is shorter. There's age, family history, and the male gender tend to be risk factors. The modifiable list is a longer one. It includes alcohol, high blood pressure, smoking, increased uh, cholesterol or hyperlipidemia, diabetes, diabetes mellitus, obesity, a high fat diet, stress, and emboli, any kind of uh, disorder that would lead to uh, emboli such as atrial fibrillation as an example. So very briefly touch on the pathophysiology of a TIA. Essentially what you have is a scenario in which you have an emboli in one of the carotid arteries and this combined with the perhaps existing stenosis and plaques leads to impaired perfusion of the brain and that's of course the hallmark pathophysiology of a TIA symptoms symptoms of a TIA are very similar to the symptoms of a stroke but of course they're much shorter in duration. The first one is something known as contralateral hemiparesis and what that essentially means is that you have this hemiparesis which is weakness on the opposite side of the body so if the stenosis is in the right carotid artery the weakness will be on the left side of the body. So weakness on opposite side of the body contralateral hemiparesis. The next one is dysarthria, which is a difficulty in speech, slurred speech. Vision problems are also uh, very commonly uh, reported in TIAs. Gait disturbance is another one. And another one I really wanted to mention, it's not really a symptom, but it's part of the presentation, is a carotid brewery that you can auscultate on physical exam. And the reason you're hearing this brewery is because of the atherosclerosis of the carotid artery. And that's a very a quick and inexpensive test that you can do before ordering any expensive tests. So what are those tests? Well by far the most important one is a carotid ultrasound. It's not that expensive and it's very diagnostic. And if necessary, you can proceed to having a CT of the head, which is a little bit more costly. In terms of treatment, the treatment of TIA really is focused on preventing a stroke down the road. So the patient has presented with some really uh, serious warning signs 
So you want to make sure that the stroke doesn't happen. Antiplatelet drugs are very common mainstay of treatment. Most common, of course, is a brand name known as Plavix. Its generic name is Clopidogrel. This is used extremely commonly. And they also want to help lower their cholesterol. And that is done very commonly with any of the statin drugs, simvastatin, lovastatin. And then there is a test, surgical test, known as a carotid and arterectomy. And what that is, is essentially a surgical removal of the plaque from the carotid artery and correction of any stenosis in the carotid artery. And that is done if the stenosis in the carotid artery is greater than 70%. That is the cutoff point. If it's 70% or more, then the, can then the patient is a good candidate for carotid endartic and arterectomy. Well, let's take a look at some vignettes. 74 year old woman comes to the emergency department because of a five hour history of right sided weakness. The sudden weakness came on while she was giving her husband a bath. She says that she was unsure that she was having a stroke because she was sure that she was having a stroke because her husband had two strokes in the past, but her symptoms resolved spontaneously before she arrived at the hospital. She is very concerned about her risk for a stroke because her husband is completely dependent upon her for care. She is able to ambulate normally and has no residual functional loss. Blood pressure is 110 over 80, pulse is 70. Fundoscopic exam is normal, a thorough neuro exam is unremarkable. Most appropriate next step is. Well, at first I would think, you know, you do the carotid ultrasound, but there's a simpler choice and that is B. Before you actually do an expensive test, or even if the test isn't expensive, you can do something for free, and that is simply just oscillate our carotid artery and listen for a brewery. So the answer to this question is B. Next one. The family of a 74-year-old woman expresses concern. 12 hours ago, the woman experienced sudden loss of speech as well as right-sided weakness, and within one hour she returned to baseline, which of the following conditions was likely cause of this event. Well, this question doesn't give us that much information, but it's just a straightforward question that's basically saying that, look, she had a TIA. She had some symptoms that resolved pretty quickly in less than one hour. And that's really all this question is getting at. Next question. Physical findings are most remarkable. This is a continuation of this question. Most remarkable for blood pressure 169 over 85, as for heart sound without murmurs, carotid brewery on the left side, and the lack of neurologic findings. Which of the following measures is the most appropriate next step? Okay, well you already listened to her carotid arteries. Now you can proceed with the carotid ultrasound. And that would be choice C. And then finally, the best indication for end arterectomy in this patient is stenosis of the carotid artery of what degree? Well, the cutoff is greater than 70%. If that is the case, then the patient is a good candidate for this surgical uh, procedure. So she would have to be at least 70%, so the answer is D, 80%.